We're going to construct a rhombus with a compass and a straight edge. So, I hope you have a compass with you and at least a protractor or a ruler of some kind of straight edge, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is draw segment PS. It can be any length you want, but don't make it too big because your compass has to reach from P to S, okay? I'm going to set the compass to that length and all we have to do is put the point on P and the other one, the tip of the pencil or pen on S, okay? Now what we do is we place the compass point at P and we draw an arc above PS. And we label that point Q right on the arc. And you could make it up here, you could make it down here. It just depends on how much you want your rhombus to lean, okay? Once we've made that arc and labeled that point Q, we put our compass on point Q, okay? And we make another arc to the right of Q. Now, we place the compass point at S and make another arc with the same compass setting the whole time, this PS length, okay? So we're going to make an arc put a point Q, make another arc, and then from S, we're going to make another arc, and where they intersect, that's going to be point R. Okay? I bet most of you have already figured this out. Now, we just draw with a straight edge, PQ, QR, RS, and we have rhombus PQRS. Okay? All right. So, if you want some other construction videos, boy, I've got a lot. And they're not always with a compass. I have a couple that we fold paper to find things. So you can construct a mid-segment, an orthocenter of a triangle by folding paper, the centroid of a triangle, construct the circumcenter of a triangle folding paper, and the rest of these are compass. So we've got a congruent triangle using ASA or SAS. We can make perpendicular lines or bisectors. We've got the rhombus method to construct parallel lines or just to construct a congruent angle. Okay, and all of these are in the geometry playlist. So just write down the ones that you're interested in and go to the playlist and scan through it. Okay, our next lesson is 6.5a. It's going to be conditions for rectangles and rhombuses. After that, we're going to apply and identify special parallelograms in the coordinate plane for the rest of 6.5. Then we're going to get into 6.6 .6 and talk about kites and isosceles trapezoid. Okay, so Try doing this so you can get good with your compass, so you can get some practice, all right? And if you're interested in any of these videos, then just see if you can watch those and you'll get real good with your compass, okay? I'll see you next time. Bye.